Hello, welcome back to Algebra 1. We're continuing to work with powers of monomials and we're just going to crank up the problem complexity a little bit and also start to work a little bit faster um, so that we can get a lot of practice here. If you have, for instance, 3 times a squared times b and you're raising the whole thing to the power of 3, what do you do? Well, this is a monomial with three separate entities inside so this exponent gets distributed to everything. And if you run into another exponent along the way, you just multiply them together. So what you're going to have is 3 raised to the power of 3, and then a raised to the power of 2 times 3 is 6, so that's going to be 6, and then b is going to be raised to the power of 3. So then all you have to do is figure out what is 3 cubed, which is 3 times 3 times 3. It's a to the 6 b cubed. So what this is is, 3 times 3 is 9, 9 times 3 is 27, so it's 27 a sixth b cubed. That's the final answer. All right, then for our next problem, what if we have 2x squared times 2x to the fourth power? Now, don't let this frighten you. What you have is a monomial raised to a power, but then it's multiplied by another monomial raised to a power. So remember your order of operations. I mean, you do have a multiplication between these two, but that comes later. You have to handle all of the powers of the exponents first. So this 2 is going to get distributed in here, and this 4 separately will get distributed in. We'll get all the answers there, and then we'll finally do the multiplication of everything. So what we have is 2 raised to the power of 2 times x raised to the power of 2. That takes care of this. And then it's going to be multiplied by, um, put a little dot here to make it clear, um, 2 raised to the power of 4 times x raised to the power of 4. Alright, so basically